welcome back. In this video we're going to see how we can install a really useful tool for vulnerability analysis. Probably one of the best tools that perform this process automatically. It is very easy to use and this tool is called Nessus. To get it running we must first download and install it. So to do that open up your Firefox and in the search bar we can type Nessus. If we scroll down to this tenable link that says download Nessus vulnerability assessment, we can click on it and right here we are going to see two different versions of Nessus that we can download. We can get the free version that allows us to scan up to 16 IP addresses and by the way this Nessus Essentials will only allow us to scan inside of the network, you will not be able to scan external IP addresses using this, however you will get high speed in-depth assessment, free training and guidance and support via Tenable community. Once you start performing real-life penetration tests and you start scanning different companies, their networks and so on and so on, this Nessus Professional option will be really useful for you. It tells you right here you get unlimited assessments, you can scan unlimited IP addresses, you can use it anywhere, you get live results, configuration assessments, bunch of different things but it also comes with a really expensive price. However, this is something that pays off once you perform real life penetration tests. Ok, right now we are interested in the free version, so let us click download on the Nessus Essentials. So you can choose to register right here, or what else we can do is we can type Nessus download and download it straight away to our Cal Linux. We can click right here, download Nessus Tenable. And right here we are going to see different Nessus versions. In this case, since I'm running Cal Linux 64 bit, I'm interested in this Nessus Debian AMD64. If I click on it, click on I agree, it will ask me whether I want to open or save the file, I want to save it, and it will download the file inside of my downloads directory. It will finish in just a few seconds. Here it is, it is done, so let's click on this button right here, it will open our downloads directory and once it opens up we can lower this page right here and open terminal inside of the downloads directory. To install this we can run sudo dpkg which stands for dpackage and then dash i which stands for install and we can type the name of the Nessus. What you can do is you can just type capital N and then tab it to auto complete it. Then press enter, it will ask me for the password, I will input it right here and it will complete the installation process for us. Here it is, it finished in just a few seconds and it tells us right here that we can start NASA scanner by typing this command. So let's just copy it right here, let's run it, paste clipboard, Oh, we need to run it with user privileges, so let's type sudo and then paste the command. And it will tell us starting Nessus. Now to go to Nessus you need to copy this link right here. Copy the link, go to Firefox, open another page, we can close these two pages and we can paste and go to that link. Let me enlarge this and it will tell us potential security risk ahead. We don't really care about this, we know there is no risk right here, so click on advanced and go down here, accept the risk and continue. Click on that and this will start compiling plugins. This will take a few seconds and soon it will ask us which version of Nessus we want to install and we will also need to provide some additional information such as email address and usernames and passwords. Here it is. Right here specify Nessus Essentials and click on continue. Right here you will need to provide the first name, the last name and the valid email address. Now in case you don't use a valid one you will not be able to use Nessus because it will send you the activation code to the email address that you specify right here. Now since I already have an account I will just skip this and I will go and type my activation code right here. You should get the same window and the same question asked as soon as you specify the email address and the first and last name, then you go to your email, find the activation code and type it in right here. Once you type your activation code, click on continue, 
username and password. I will set right here Mr. Hacker, which is my username, and I will type in my password. It will ask you to set up your own username and to set up your own password. You can use whatever you want. After it, click on Submit. It will tell me setup is complete, and now it will start the true preparation for Nessus. This process right here will take some time. And by some time, I think it might take even up to 30 or 14 minutes. So just take a small break until all of this is over, and we're going to continue with Nessus in the next video.